Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Let's see what's going to happen now. Oh, I seen what I think I'm seeing. It's Marcus. He's still alive. These are all the parts that are missing or broken. Left and right legs. This is horrible. I mean, the game's great, but this is not nice at all. Sorted. She's like a, yeah, I was gonna say a graveyard fan, boy. This is horrible. This is like something out of a horror movie. Really? Ah! Imagine in the future if there was something like this, it would be horrible. Oh. 
that was lucky. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? I'm oh, sorry, but I gotta Hello. take something. I'm an AK-700 android. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest satellite maintenance center. I mean, I'll be able to scan for the other parts that I need. Yeah, we can. That was lucky. I'm sorry, but I got it. Don't want to, but I've no, I've no other option. Mind you a bit, a little bit of Iron Man, with a bit in his chest. Oh dear. I guess it ends up suffering. Climb this rope. Different color eyes now. Oh, 
I'm guessing this is more human like now, even though he's an android. My name is Marcus. Do you remember? That graveyard was horrible. It really was. Okay, there was only one possible outcome, but there were there were a few different Yeah, just a couple of different paths in between there. Let's move on. Oh no. I still can't get over the facial animations in this. Bet they couldn't make every game. What was that? I'm just walking and I have no idea what I'm doing. Find Amanda. I can see somebody over there. Must be Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. This game is crazy. It makes you feel a bit like the Matrix. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. It's like she's the Oracle. And you've got a bit of iRobot in there and, oh, lots of different stuff. What a game. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. If we're going this way. for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Uh, 
Well, well, well. You and you come with me. Excuse me, do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll <laughs> see him before noon. Thanks. Yes, we need you waiting on. Or not. Coffee and donuts, everyone. A policeman needs right. <laughs> and Android slogan. We don't bleed the same car. Well, okay. Detroit. Give me bar. That's where we met him. Oh, red ice. That's the drugs. Okay. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office! Uh-oh. I smell trouble. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. <laughs> Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are oh seriously starting to piss me off. 
You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? OK. Huh? OK. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Guess you like me. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Okay. Have a nice day, Captain. Use a ball of fun. <laughs> It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Yeah, you loved me already, eh? Okay. You really need the forensics. Ah, oh, man loves a dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair is on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Nah. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. <laughs> Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> okay, um... A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. Kind of going up and down here. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Oh, computer, I'm sure we'll have one like this any day. Two hundred and forty three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. 
An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. <laughs> you shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? Okay. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, uh -oh. asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Guess we get off to a good start, eh? Oh, there would have been another outcome to that. And that would have been from here. So you could replay it back and see what happens. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to continue it. Let's see where we're at now. Things were switching in between characters. Cara, Marcus, and Connor. Oh, and speaking about Cara, where are Ah. Oh. Hopefully this crazy android isn't still about. If you are new to watching this, don't forget to watch the uh, previous episodes. to be on a playlist. I don't want to leave one, well, not when that crazy android's about. No way. I guess we just we pop through here and have a quick look. Don't know, I'm taking a chance here. I am alive, RA9, you can see Alice from here, so she's, she's okay, I'll be ready to run out there. Money. 
Oh, well, we needed money, but... I should really go back to Alice. I don't... I don't trust being here. crazy androids about. Let's leave. Is she still here? Can't we wait in her up? No. Maybe we're supposed to read this and she wakens up. Oh, it's a different one now. Oh, it's the same one. It is. Canada. I do not want to go upstairs. The game is kind of forcing you. Oh, here we go. We'll play a game. No. Nope. I don't want. I don't want to leave her. Wicky wicky little girl. I, I get horrible feeling. If I go upstairs, something bad is going to happen. Nope. This game makes you think now. It, it, I think it's like... Kind of forcing you to go upstairs for a reason. Do you need to go upstairs? Take a wild guess. Oh, look pretty. What are you getting? Pick the colour over here. Um, I bet they've not got brown. What do you do? Brown. Oh dear. Just like Connor. I mean, um, Marcus, sorry. Hopefully Alice is okay. Don't... Um, Uh-oh. Alright. That's all for now. Ready to go. 
We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. <laughs> it's good for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> Come. Come and sit down. <laughs> uh, no. That's very kind of you, Ralph. But we have to go. Go. <laughs> no, you, you will go once the little girl is eaten. Uh, we will eat together, just like a family. And the father, the mother, and the little girl. <laughs> um. No, Ralph. Can we get away we'll with that? Come on, Alice. Uh oh. The little girl's going nowhere. Okay. Okay. You said the exact same thing we'll I did. Eat together. Like a family. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. Please, Car. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Go ahead. Eat. Stand up now, and we're going to leave, Ralph. No. No, you're not going to leave. Not until Ralph says so. Oh, come on. Hey, don't try them. Let's talk you about your family. You wanted to be like a family, Ralph. Father, mother. The little girl, remember? The father would never threaten his little girl with a knife to make her eat. Ralph went to a lot of trouble. That's why. He just wanted the little girl to eat. But Ralph is not bad. No. Not bad. Then let us go. Anybody home? Uh-oh. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Oh my god, no. 
see this is what I mean about the game. I'm trying to capture myself. I know exactly where I am. Maybe Connor will capture the crazy deviant. Hopefully Kara's gone. Hayden. That's it. Right, it's the same. He's a gardener. Extreme heat. Hmm. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. Come on, I don't want to capture Kara. You hiding? Must be upstairs. Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. Connor, what the hell are you doing in there? Coming, Lieutenant. Won't let me out. Maybe I'll go back upstairs. Won't let me go upstairs either. I'm confused. Even crew. Did do that. Oh, 
What am I missing? Ah. Run quicker! Connor, what's going on? It's here. Call it in. Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Want to catch her? They're over there. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Shoot, we need it alive. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. That's insane. Ah, uh, help. Whoa. Killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's I want to give up. I, I, I want to let Connor go. Ooh. Oh, my God. I love this game, but I'm beginning not to like it because Kara and Alison and I don't want to capture them, but yet I've got to play Connor as part of the game. It's crazy. Let's see how many outcomes there could have been. There's another two endings to this. Maybe they could have got, maybe they would have got caught. I don't know. And it all stands back to Connor obeying the order and that was the order that I had given I didn't want me to continue to chase them right okay my friend if you've enjoyed these videos so far please like subscribe hit the notification bell down below so you know when the next one is and take care and have fun and don't forget to be safe too. See you in the next one.